find division for a whole number divided by a fraction. Before we divide the whole number by a fraction, we're going to flash back to some models that you drew earlier when you were younger to show division. Here's our problem. You have 12 pounds of peanuts. Each of these squares represents a pound. You package them into three pound bags. How many bags of peanuts will you have? So if these are my 12 pounds and we're going to package them into three pound bags, what we're really solving is 12 divided by 3 because we want to see how many groups of 3 pounds we can make. And so to show a model of that, I drew squares to represent the 12 pounds. And then what you would have done in the past is make groups of this size, so the 3. So to do that in the past, you would have circled the three pounds that would go into a bag. And so this would be one bag, two bags, three bags, four bags. And so 12 divided by three would be four. This kind of model is what we're going to use to divide a whole number by a fraction. Here's how this works. It's very similar. Our problem is going to be five divided by one half. Our first step is to draw model rectangles to match the whole number. So my whole number is five, so I need five whole rectangles. There's two, three, four, and five. My second step, before on the first slide, I circled groups of three because we were dividing by three. This time, I'm dividing in half. So I have to go to each rectangle and cut it into columns matching the fraction. So one half, so I need to cut this into two equal parts. This would be one half, and this would be one half. And I need to do that to every single rectangle in my model. What I'm finding is how many one halves there are in the five rectangles. And this is going to be my answer, my quotient. I count the total number of fractional sized pieces that are in the model. So how many halves do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the quotient for five divided by one half is ten. Here's another problem for us to solve. A scoop holds one-fourth cup. How many scoops of bird seed are needed to fill a bird feeder that holds three cups of bird seed? So the whole bird feeder would hold three cups, and I want to know how many scoops of one-fourth it would take to fill that up. First step is to draw the rectangles to match my whole number, so I need three. Second step, I need to know how many one-fourths are in these three. Well, in this one, I'm going to cut it into fourths. And so there would be one fourth here, another here, another, and another. So there are four fourths in that one cup of bird feed. Then I'm going to cut this one into fourths as well. And I'm going to get four more fourths. So in each scoop was a fourth. And finally here as well, one fourth. One fourth, one fourth. So my quotient is how many fourths, because it was how many scoops are needed to fill it up. Well, each one fourth is a scoop, so there was four here, four more, and four more, and so that is 12. Now this quotient is larger than what we started with, and normally when we divide, our quotient gets smaller. The reason it did not get smaller here is because I'm dividing by a number that is less than one. A fraction. And so it takes more of a fraction to fill up the whole scoop or whole cup in this kind, in this case, than it does as if this was a whole number. That's why my quotient is larger, and that's unusual when we divide. Well, I'd like for you to draw a model to solve this problem in your math journal.